Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Flutter environments. In previous video, we discussed how to separate ENVs in Dart. Let us now see how to use Android product flavors to set native configurations for different environment. Now for that, uh, we need to go to the Android native documentation of product flavors. You can find it inside the build variants option. Now here we can set product flavor and for that we need to define a flavor dimension and then the name of those product flavors so in our case it will be a development and a production flavor so I'll just copy this from here and then inside our android curly braces we'll just paste it and flavor inside flavor dimensions will keep it default I'll let you know what this means and how this works actually and we'll change it to dev this will be prod And for production, we won't add any application ID suffix or any version suffix. Now, uh, what do we want to do is we want to change the name of the app to something like flavors dev for development environment and we will leave it as it is for the production environment. So for that, we need to define our string app name inside flavor dev as flavor dev and then we'll use this app name inside android manifest.xml file so let's uh, do something similar for production environment also and here we'll just name it flavors now inside uh, android manifest.xml if your android label is uh, something else you can just change it to at the rate string and slash app name this is basically the name of the variable that we are going to provide using our flavors now let's close this app and run it using flutter flavors here we will define the target file which is main dev dot dart and then we will define a flavor which is the development flavor dv this dev should match this so you need to keep these things in mind so let's wait for that now our uh, app is installed and uh, let's check out the name of the app so for that i will go ahead and as you can see that we have flavors dev here now let's do something similar for production app so we'll change our target file to main prod and then we'll change the flavor to prod and let's see if we get another app or it overrides the current app now what does this dimension actually does so if you if you have ever used firebase or worked with firebase you know that we have to add a google service.json file inside our src folder for google sign in and dynamic links to work properly now with flavor dimension we create two separate firebase projects for dev and prod then we cannot add the same google service.json file inside the src folder because it will be like duplicate file so for that we need the dimension and by default dimension it means that the src folder will define the configuration of dev and prod environments so inside src folder we can see that i have created a dev directory and a prod directory so your google service.json file will for development environment will go inside the dev directory 
and for production environment it will go inside the prod directory now this is this is the basic use of product flavors now as you can see that uh, our production environment is up and running now let's just check out if uh, we have two apps or not so we have a flavors app which is our production environment and then we have a development app which has our dev environment so now you can test out these two apps separately and yeah this is it for the android product flavors part this is very basic video and uh, i've just uh, told you like how the product flavors is set up and how you can use it to separate out your native code and native configurations using these two folders you can even create separate android manifest file for these two folders and it will automatically pick up whichever flavor is built thank you let's see you in the next video where i will discuss the configuration similarly for the ios part